this is Exploring Wild Camping with Emma Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we're going to be reviewing the Zephros tent uh, here. Uh, as you probably know, and anyone that's probably doing the review, they, you, you know basically what the Zephros is. You know it's got a 4,000 hydrostatic head. Uh, what's the weight on this again? I think it's about 1,500 grams. 1,500 grams. Take. Depends on what pegs you're using, really. Yeah, and with these ones actually come with the really light aluminium uh, red stakes yeah. that come with it. Uh, we've added a few features to this for sand. Uh, we've actually got some new sand stakes that we're going to mm -hmm. be using on our next camp. And also, you can buy uh, the footprint for this, but as you probably know in our previous videos, we used the pound shot one. Yes. Uh, to be honest with you, just as good as the footprint you can buy. And because we're tight. And we're tight, yeah. <laughs> um, but the main event today is we've got a mystery bag. Uh, the mystery bag is a tent. I don't know what it is, do we? Do we know what this is? I don't know what it is. Was you with me when I ordered this no, the other day? I don't day? know what you've ordered. Oh, right, okay. Right, what we're we going to do is it's we're going to. It's a Hillenberg or something, probably. I think it might be a Hillenberg bag. Right, um, well, we're going to start unraveling it. And I actually waited um, to see Emma. This all this was arrived the other day. I ordered it last Saturday night. I ain't got a clue. The cheeky bug has ordered something. I don't know what it is. You should do. I know exactly what this is. Well, you should know what it is. You ordered it. I know. And I couldn't believe it. When I saw this, on eBay, I was like, I've got to buy it. Even Emma was like, oh, you're going to buy it. it. You're going to buy it. <laughs> I have bought the Wild Country by Terra Nova Helm 1. Really excited to try and try this out. We want to see what what uh, the big fuss is about the Helm 1. Uh, it's quite light. It weighs in at 1.87 kilos. So it's That's a bit not, heavier. It's a little bit heavier than, than the Zephros. Zephros. So the plan is, I'm assuming, to compare the two then. We're yeah? going to be doing a full review on the Zephros tent and the Helm 1 today. Uh, materials, weight, um, things like that. As you probably know, on both of these tents, they both say they're free season, but we know differently that they've been... Uh... Well, we've certainly heard good things about the Helm. Yeah, so we're going to be doing that right now. So, uh, right, should we get cracking? And we're going to do a time lapse video now on how quick these two tents go up. So I'm going to leave it over to Emma to put her uh, well, Zephros put one up. The Zephros up, which is actually not my one. It's, no, it's my one. It's which the is newer the newer one. one. But we have had people ask us about this tent, so we thought we'd do a review on it. We're going to do a full review, and then we're going to do a full review on the Helm mm -hmm. all in one here. Yep, and then a comparison, yeah? That's it. Yeah, that's so one. let's get cracking. take around the outside first and then we'll show you the inside let's go all right so if you want to come with me um as you saw just on one pole which i just thread it through nice and easy nice and simple and then these back bits we just stick one stake in i mean there's a dual guide on there so that's a pretty good idea um a bit, a bit better probably than the original zephos which is the one i normally use same on the other side uh and then it's pretty stable then uh well, what is there? Another, there's another four, four pegs to put in. Yeah. But this is pretty good. If you want to come and have a look, is that oh, with a lot of modern, in the way. Yeah, with a lot on. of modern tents these days, um, you can pull these nice and tight. It's got these these straps, these little buckles on, which just pull it nice and low down to the ground. So that's a really good extra feature. Do you think that this. this would could be used in the winter? I mean, considering how low it is to the ground. I couldn't see why not. To be honest with you. Because the Hillenbergs that they go right flat to the yeah. floor to make them a four season. Yeah, These, I are. think they are going nigh on flat mm -hmm. to the floor. Um, different with the, uh, the original Zephros is that it's got these bits on the end, which I believe is um, for air vents. Pr it's protection for your ventilation, which is under here, um, which the original one doesn't actually have. So that's quite a good idea as well. Yeah. Um, right, what other features have we got on the outside? I think that's about I it. I think that's about it. Let's check it on the inside. Yeah. Let's have a look. Right, so let's have a look and show you what sort of space. Right, so as you can see, we've got this flappy door, but it's got a little toggle on it, and you're literally just toggling it on to here, 
Uh, a lot of people moan about it and yeah. they don't realise what it actually is. A lot is. of people say, oh, what do you do with the door? There's nowhere to put anything, but... It is, the it. toggle's there. If, failing that, you could always just pop a little guy rope on, just guy it over the tent. Yeah, of course you could, yeah, of course you could, yeah. Um, I'll just let you have a look at the porch there. This is the feature <sighs> that we like the most, was oh, this it's massive 50-centimetre a... porch, which is a hell of a lot bigger than most of the porches that you'll find. And you've also got, round the back here, just over here, um, and a, a place to put your boots... And over the back here, you've still got another pool chair area. There's a little bit of space. On yeah. the original Zephyros, it, because it pulls out, yeah. it, there's a lot more space. A lot more space that on, side. Um, but, you know, again, pros and cons, it depends on what you prefer, really. But as you can see from what me and Emma's done on our previous videos, you can cook in here. Yeah, we've... Absolutely. Um, we generally, if, we've, if we have to, we have our bags in there along with our boots. This porch area is plenty big enough. To, to cook with a little tangy or a little gas stove. Yeah. Um, perfectly safe. I mean, we've never had any trouble in it. No, guess, not but, at all. You know, personally, the best feature about this tent is that big porch area. Oh, yeah. Um, so if you were stuck in your tent all night because of the weather, you you wouldn't be uncomfortable. No, you of course not. do everything that you would need to do in it, personally. Watch YouTube, Emma and Stu. That's yeah. what you should do in there. Yeah. Um, as we've seen, we've had a few bad experiences where it's been too windy yeah. to go outside. You know, it's brilliant. It's been very um, good. Well, let's open the door up. Okay. Um, Great big vent on the door, yeah. Along with those little bits of vents at the either end, yeah. So it's not too drafty. No, no, not at all. Condensation in this tent is pretty good, isn't it? We've never. I've never, never woke had, up with condensation. We've never had condensation problems. No. All right, so great big door at the front here. It's got a bit of sand in it for my last, yeah. my last conquest. Uh, I can tell I don't use this one because it would have been swept out. No. <laughs> if I just open this door up. Probably. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take the camera, Emma. You can yeah. show them. Let's just open this door up properly. And it goes nice and flat. And the good feature about this, I'm not going to be able to do it one-handed, is that it's got these little clips to clip to clip it all down. You can roll it up and clip it all down. But this, um, I forget the measurements of inside here. What are the measurements? Just find out for us. Do you know what? Let's have a look on the bag, shall we? But we've found plenty, plenty yeah, spacious show the bag. enough. Show them the bag. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right, so... Oh. So it's saying 64 centimetres at the narrowest point. Uh, so you're probably looking at an extra 20, 25 centimetres on the wider points, which, um, well, as you can see, plenty wide enough. And uh, I want to make one thing. Emma didn't know about this. But if you bring the camera in. Right. Uh, and Lovely. here, just right. here, is where you hang your torch. Ah, uh, the all-important sort of torch. And hook. it's out of the way of your head. This is the important thing. When your yeah. head's this end or this end, mm -hmm. it's hanging in the middle. So, as some people will know, that's either that's a, like a bargaining point when it comes to it some things. Well, for me, uh, it was a bargaining point yeah. because I'm a tall yes. person. Essential. But the other good thing about this is that you can sit here. All right, you've got to lean over a little bit, but who sits up straight when they're cooking? Yeah. You can sit up in mm -hmm. this well, why don't you point. you're six foot three right so yeah. let's have a look and see uh, probably one of the biggest sort of people that you're going to get in one of these tents and how much space that there actually is there you go and i can actually sit mm -hmm. quite comfortably mm -hmm. like this in this tent but yeah. let me just tell you one thing it is flipping hot in here and yeah. i need to get out it's hot it's actually a really but hot as day you can today see isn't it? here you can easily sit up. Yeah, you've got a nice lot of headroom up there. I mean, really. yeah, I mean, you could literally put your put your feet out with this door down. It's bit, oh, sorry, I not can't say that word on YouTube, but it's raining quite heavily. Mm -hmm. You could sit here quite happily, cook. Yeah, pop your little stove. Yeah, down here, couldn't you? It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I love the Zephyros. I'm very biased towards the Zephyros because I love it too much. Yes. And uh, yeah, so that's the um, that's the advantages of this tent. Five, a five thousand hydrostatic head. Some people say five, some people say four. We keep to the four because it's, you know... Well, we've never tested worse, it. Probably. Yeah, exactly. We've never done that. But this tent, honestly, if anyone was going to go and buy a good stealth tent, this is the mm -hmm. tent to buy. I paid 140 35 quid. I think. 135 Yeah, so if you're on a low budget, I mean, all right, there's better tents out there if you've got five or 600 yeah, pounds to spend. But if you're starting out and you're looking for something which is adequate, which is going to be reliable, spacious... Personally, I would say this would be the tent this for you. This is the tent for you. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to get hold of. Yes. Now, the next tent that we're going to be trying out in a minute, you cannot get you cannot get hold of it. It's one of the hardest tents in the wild camping world to get hold of. The Helm 1 is... is Apparently so. I believe they're discontinuing well, them. Well, look, I mean, I've been looking. I've been researching for weeks and weeks and weeks to try and get one. And I couldn't get one for love nor money. I went onto the Wild Country website, everything. Can't get them. They're not in this country. But 
with my foresight and uh, money, I managed to get one. <laughs> so um, all the wild campers out there, including the ones that we go with, I've got a hell one. Oh, yep. you're so cheeky. I know. There you um, go. That's it. We're going to be banned from the groups. That's it. Exactly. Uh, right. So let's get on to the helm one. Uh, we've, I think we've done a quite an extensive thing on the mm -hmm. Zephoth one, didn't we? Yeah. Think? But of course, if you've got any questions at all, put it in the comments. We'll always reply to yeah, you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If there's anything we've not covered that you might want to know. Yeah. Put your thumbs down like everyone else does. Probably. It's, it's not really explore. People will hate it. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's just a review. Um, so yeah. Right. Let's get on to the helm one now. Um, and. Uh, See how that is. Let's see in a sec. Um, basically the same sort of material as the Zephros one, um, no different really with uh, the pegs, the pegs are exactly the same as you can see the Zephros get the red aluminium pegs and the Zephros, very very lightweight, that's it and the helm it comes with exactly the same pegs, as you could probably see um, they're practically the same kind of tent. Yeah there's a bit of height difference, there's a height difference by there. a few inches at least. But what I'd like to one thing that I've got to admit, so Tom Outdoors and uh, RD, I think you do need to know you're absolutely right. It's pretty rigid and I completely agree with what you've been saying about how sturdy this tent actually is, which is good. And as you can probably see by the Zeph Rocks, this is a freestander. This is a, mm. uh, it would be a bit saggy without the pegs, the oh, same as be. the Zeph well, Rocks would be. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, the sturdiness of this one sturdiness of this one is practically the same it they're both bomb proof to, a, to in their own rights you know um, so yeah same material 4,000 hydrostatic head uh, we're gonna get the dimensions off of the bag so there we go 1.87 kilos with the pegs and poles obviously three season but we're gonna class it as a four season um, it sleeps one obviously as you can see here and uh, yeah. The actual footprint isn't an awful lot bigger than the Zephyrus It's not. It? Oh, not, not a lot bigger. I actually bought a brand new footprint for fifteen ninety nine off of eBay. On its brand way. Brand spanking new. I, got, I bidded on it and I got it and they're worth 35 quid, 35 pounds, something like that. So yeah, um, right, what we're going to do now is probably... Yeah, have a look at these. Yeah, these are yeah, quite the different. Yeah, they're different to the Zephros, aren't they? Um, yeah, they just basically uh, peg in and you pull yeah. to tension them up. I think they're up. a lighter weight version. I think that's the point of them being different. That, they're supposed exactly. to be lightweight. Yeah, they should. Be. I mean, you get them all the way around. I mean, down to even the guy ropes. But um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're strong enough. I mean, these clip the sides of this clip in to help the wind. Um, sort of the stability. Yeah, wind. I suppose you want to call it stability. Yeah. The same sort of concept as the inner tent to the outer tent of the Zephros. The inner tent does peg out to the the outer peg mm -hmm. to strengthen it out, which is always a good feature. I always think it's a very brilliant feature. Obviously, these are colour coded: blue for blue, red for red. So, and obviously, the poles are a completely different shape. One's so it's got a pretty edge. idiot proof when it comes to putting it up. Oh, it's, it's totally idiot proof. I mean, we put this up in just under. Four minutes. I think the Zephyrus went up in three minutes twenty. I think this went up in three minutes fifty. It's not much difference at all with the putting up. Um, this was easy to put up. That's easy to put up. This is one thing that I was worried about that this was going to be hard to put up. It's really not. Really not. But what I'm going to do now is um, we're moving to side the tent again. 
same as the Zephros, very nice size porch. Very, very nice size. I believe that's a 50 centimetre wide porch on that as well, isn't and it? And this is a 50 centimetre yeah. with their Sephros. Yeah. So the porch on this is... Nigh on identical. Absolutely identical. But what we'll do is we'll we'll undo the, the inner tent, the inner fly. Mm -hmm. Right, same concept again. This just goes down, actually. I don't think this has actually no, got a roll. No, that doesn't seem to have toggles, No, does it doesn't it? have toggles, this one, but, but it doesn't if matter. if you look, you can un unzip it. Yep. All the way, All the way along. Yeah. And then, and then get rid of it. In fact, there's it probably goes into one of Actually, pockets. that's not a bad idea. There's a little pocket just here yeah. inside. Little little yeah. little coaching. We'll show pocket. you that in a minute. Right. So if I uh, come in, if I bring you yeah. in here, right. So in here, a very very nice living space. Uh, we've got a gear pocket just here, and we reckon maybe this pocket is for the door. So we'll just tuck that in. Yeah, that's it's actually a very Muddy that's actually a very good way. yeah it's a very an issue which you have in some tents. exactly and emma's just out there see right so this this living compartment is do you know what it's a little bit wider than the zephros possibly i, don't I think, think it is it there isn't it's got a good gear pocket again here this side so you've got one here the other good feature about this is this and it has like a little a little door there i mean it's got a fly sheet uh, uh, like an insect sheet over it at the moment but you undo it again and it's got like another little porch. Another really good little feature of the uh, the Helm one. You can put your boots or a bag maybe out there. I don't know. Whatever you want to put up there. It seems pretty... I mean, as you can see, this bit's a bit of flappy. But once you tension it all out properly and everything, it'll be all right. But this this is a very, very good little feature, I think. The vent, I think the ventilation is absolutely brilliant in here. The own... Oh, and we've got... Oh, another little feature just in the middle a torch holder which always wins Same it over way. for me yep yeah. just there but yeah very good little tent quite impressed with it um, moving to the um the diagram the helm interior is supposed to be about 15 centimeters wider but you can't really tell i mean 15 centimeters is quite a sizable chunk yes it I is personally um i personally can't see where the extra space is i can't neither um as as i said I'm going to be a bit biased towards these tents, Emma. Yes, we already know. Um, he loves his Zephros. I love the Zephros. I'm not going to lie, I love it. There's a lot to love about the helm. There's a lot to love about it. Um, Whether uh, or not it's worth spending the extra money, this retails at about 180 apparently. Yep. Yeah. These, a little bit less. 150, 160. Yeah, but you can get hold of them new for about 130, can't you? But I think... Out of both of these tents, I'm going to be honest with you. I think whatever you pay for these tents, I think you're going to get good value for money. Yeah. I. Yeah. I think we might have to call this a tour. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm actually. Do you know what? I don't think me and Emma were going to say that. No. At all. But I'm going to call it a draw. The. I think if you're going to get anything, yeah. you get the helm, or. The Zephros. If you're looking for something a bit stealthier, obviously the Zephros. The Zephros. Personally, it is a little bit quicker to put up. Yes. You know, but you're t we are talking maybe 20 minute, seconds. You know, less than a minute. But with the helm, I don't know. I mean, I'm impressed. Yeah. More impressed than you thought you were going to Yes, be. I'm yeah. impressed. Um, but again, Whatever you feel, if you want the tent that you can get hold of every single day on eBay or Amazon or Wild Country, it's a Zephros. Yeah. All day long, you can pick them up for 150. Lowest that you can buy is 135 quid. Yeah, you can get them second hand for probably half that. You can get them for second hand for 100 quid. Yeah. Um, the Helm, surprisingly the most difficult tent I've ever looked for in my life. Yeah. He hasn't looked for many. No, and I'll tell you something now. That tent is one hard thing to get hold of. Don't you agree? I mean, me and Em, I mean, I've researched it for weeks to yeah, try and find one. people have been looking for them. It's because Wild Country or Terra Nova are going to be bringing out a very similar tent. And so they've yeah. discontinued them. That's going to so be... So it'll be interesting to see what the replacement... The is replacement's going to be, going to be the lighter version. I think it's going to be quite similar. Maybe a bit a lot more lightweight. I, th I think it's going to be the lighter version of it. I think it's going to be exactly the same lighter version. Mm -hmm. But, but... To be quite honest with you, you could put that in your backpack and be very, very happy with it. Yeah. So it's slightly heavier, but but like we said, if, the, if you've got any questions about it, if we can help them out, we will. We will do. Comments. Yeah, we will do. And we hope that it's been of some use. This little uh, review, 
comparison for you. That's it. So, okay then, well, <laughs> as usual, this is exploring, wild camping, review. Yeah, bit of everything. Bit of everything today. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll catch you on our next explore or our next adventure. Okay, thanks so, for watching. See you later, bye. bye.